Hey there friends, Martin from Matthew Studio Equipment with a quick demo on our Minimax booming stand. The Minimax can be set up with one person, but two people is ideal. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is deploy the legs. So you're going to loosen this T-handle right here on the rear vertical riser. And just like that, your legs are deployed. You're gonna lock it off and your stand will now be standing on its own. But in order to continue getting this guy set up, you're gonna want a nice solid weighted base. The Minimax features three Rocky Mountain legs. One Rocky Mountain leg drops directly out of the rear upright, helping you level the base when you are setting up going up a flight of stairs or in a similar situation. The other two Rocky Mountain legs are in the forward facing legs and they drop down to help level the base when you're in a situation like this, setting up down a flight of stairs. Now I'm gonna put sandbags through the legs and right on the spreaders. There's one and here's another. We recommend a three to one weight ratio. So whatever you're gonna have at the end of your arm, you want three times that weight on your base. 10 pounds on the end of your arm, 30 pounds on the base. 20 pounds at the end of your arm, 60 pounds on the base. Simple math to keep it safe. Now it's time to raise and extend your boom. I'm going to loosen the rear T-handle on that vertical riser, and I'm gonna loosen the front T-handle on my front vertical riser. Now I can get this to around the height and angle that I want. Now don't worry, this can all be adjusted. I'm gonna start at a reasonable height so that I can kind of get things where I want them, and then I can make adjustments to the final position of my grip modifier or my light. Now that it's at a manageable height, I'm going to extend my boom. Now that we're extended to eight feet, know that it will go up eight feet and out eight feet so that you can parallel an eight foot ceiling. You can also loosen that rear T-handle and get a lot more height out of this guy. So you can actually get your lamp up to 16 feet, which is really awesome. Now that I'm feeling this, there's a little bit heavier than I thought. So I have another bag standing by. I'm just gonna thread this guy through right there, making sure that I have extra weight on the base so that I can safely add my light modifiers or my unit to the end of my extension arm. Now you can see we have a good extension and if I want to change the angle, I'm gonna take the weight of the boom arm right here and I can loosen either the rear or the front depending on where I wanna make the adjustment. But now that I have the weight, I can loosen and I can raise up or lower down and I can also do that same thing by loosening the rear and raising or lowering to where I want it. And now that we're at this good angle and height, I'm gonna take my safety pin and insert it into the safety hole. And then you can walk up the front of the boom, lock it off, then walk up the back of the boom, lock it off, and then you continue doing so until you reach your desired height. You can now extend the boom one section at a time until you get the length required. And now on a ladder, you can get up and mount your grip modifier or your lamp. Grade is the level that your legs and your base are at. So if you're on a balcony, if you're on a rooftop, if you're on an elevated platform, Minimax will allow you to get your unit three feet below the level that your legs are at. The Minimax by Matthew Studio Equipment, designed to be able to hold your lights and your modifiers where you need them and keep your stand out of the way. Get yourself a Minimax.